Cheap versus expensive paints. I haven't done one of these videos in quite a while, so I am really excited about this project. In this video, I'm gonna be putting Blick acrylic paints up against Dollar Rowney Walmart brand paints. And I'm also gonna share some tips on how to improve the quality of cheap acrylic paints. But before I do anything else, I need to sketch out what I'm gonna be painting for this project. One trick that I like to use while sketching is a two-point perspective grid. This one I can put underneath my paper and then I can make sure that my perspective is accurate. I have a couple kiddos, so I love a good dad joke or pun. So for this project, I wanna do a couple of pun paintings. The first painting, I'm gonna do a peppermint in a box. Get it? It's a mint in box. <laughs> no? Okay. And the second painting is gonna be a scared piece of string tied in a knot, right? So like afraid knot. <laughs> All right. I don't typically sell my ink sketches, but I really like this one. I feel like it's got a really weird kind of quality to it. So it's available on my website. And if you join my Patreon, you can get up to 20% off. I'm gonna put a wash on both of these canvas and I haven't done a wash this year, which sounds like something you shouldn't admit to. My daughter got me these paints, but I don't quite have all the colors that I need. And I try to find more at the store, but I can't seem to find this brand of paint anywhere. So for this project, I'm gonna to need to use another cheap brand of paint to mix with these to create the colors that I need. Which means on this project, I'll also be using Master's Touch for this painting. But before I use the Master's Touch, I'm gonna to try to use these paints on their own. That way I can try to give an unbiased opinion about them. Then I'll mix in the other paints to make up for the colors that I'm missing. I haven't used Dollar Rowney paint before, but it has all the same qualities of a cheap acrylic paint. This paint spreads too thin very easily, and once it starts to dry, it gets very tacky. So the texture of this paint is very inconsistent. And the light fastness, which is the resistance to light exposure, or the permanence of the paint, is rated very low. Which basically means it won't stand the test of time. Eventually these colors are going to start to fade, even if it's varnished or sealed. You can use mixing mediums like clear tar gel or heavy gels. You simply mix them together to improve the opacity, texture, or thickness of this paint. If you don't have tar gel or heavy mediums, you can also mix cornstarch with boiling water to make a thick medium to mix the paint with. This paint is great for kids, crafts, homemade gifts, but it is not ideal for fine art paintings. But this was a very thoughtful gift by my daughter and I love that I can use it to create new works of art. Next is the Blick Artist Series 1 paint. This isn't top of the line paint, but it's more expensive paint. I've used these paints before so I know what to expect when working with them. They're thicker than Dollar Rowney, they blend much easier, and the light fastness of this paint has a much better rating than Dollar Rowney. This paint is rated to stand the test of time, which means the pigments are going to last much longer, especially when sealed with a UV protectant. This paint is perfect for art studios, students, and fine art paintings.
so overall the Blake acrylic paint is the better paint for making fine art pieces. With enough mixing mediums, work, and practice, you can use Dollar Rowney to create great works of art. But overall, Blake acrylic paint is the better paint for making fine art pieces that stand the test of time. That's it for this video, and you can find these paintings on my website, schmainting.com. And fear not, if you order these, they will arrive mint in box. <laughs> no? Whatever. If you enjoyed the video, hit the like button, subscribe, comment, and share. I also want to give a huge shout out to all of my patrons. Thank you so much for all of your support for the studio. If you want to help contribute to the studio and get some really cool stuff while you do, go to patreon.com slash painting So that's it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you next time.